All right, so what we're gonna do today, right now, um, I had the valve cover off to adjust the valves. And so while I've got it off, I'm gonna check the timing chain for stretch. Um, there is an easy, there's a quick way and kind of a uh, more accurate way, a uh, harder, more accurate way. Uh, we're just gonna do the quick way, I think, unless it's kind of marginal, and then we'll do the more accurate way. But, um, you know, I don't know if the chain's ever been um, changed on this thing. I do know that uh, it is tight right now, you know, the, so it's not past the limits of the uh, adjuster, you know, the tensioner. So um, it's not, yeah. I don't think it's gonna be too bad, but I could be fooled. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, check it. And the way you check it, the quick way, or the easy way, is this mark right here will line up with a mark on the um, on that little washer that's that thrust washer that's behind the gear and so that mark is not in sight right now because we need to rotate the engine around let's see where it is it must be on the bottom side right now because i don't see it but uh we'll rotate the engine around and get that where we can see it we're gonna check check that with those marks lined up. The uh, timing mark should be at zero, and anything, whatever it's reading, is how much stretch. So, say it reads four degrees, then um, you know uh, you've got four degrees of stretch. So, what we're hoping is that. It, I'm gonna say if it's four or less, if it's less than four, I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, Mercedes, they offer a offset key way for the uh, timing chain, for the timing gear, and they start at four degrees. So pretty much, I figure, uh, anything, you know, two, three degrees is kind of within spec. Uh, anything more than that is out of spec. And if it's more than that, um, I need to decide. I'm not going to do, I don't think I'm going to do an offset key. If it's more than that, I'm just going to go ahead, I think, and put a new chain on it. Um, but I need to decide if I'm going to do that right away or if I will um, kind of think about it. Or if I'll, if I'll do it right away, you know, or if I'm going to, you know, just put this thing back together and run it you know, for some time before I can get a, I guess it depends on how bad it is. So let's, uh, let me get y'all set up and we're gonna rotate the engine around and get those marks lined up. This is not a super accurate way. Uh, you have to get those marks perfectly lined up. And uh, cause if you're off just a little bit, you know, it throws it off by a degree or two. So uh, the more accurate way, um, you kind of you set up a micrometer uh, you can set it up off this post and you come down on this second valve and with the valve I think pointing straight up with the in the yeah the pointing straight up the the lobe I think you uh, then adjust the valve latch the valve lash to zero, take all the valve lash out, and then you, you turn the engine over, and then I forget how much, when the micrometer reads like, I don't know, if it's two millimeters or what, it, when it reads a certain value, you look and see what the value is on the, the crankshaft. So, um, we're probably not gonna do that. Uh, it's definitely more in depth, uh, unless, we're kind of marginal. So if it if it reads if we read two degrees on here of stretch or four degrees, something like that, then we'll probably go ahead and do the more in depth way, just because um, it could be off by a degree or two easily, the the easy way. And so, but if we're reading like ten degrees of stretch, then we know we cannot 
be uh, off by that much, you know, we know that that chain needs to be replaced. So let me get y'all set up and let's see what it reads. All right, so got y'all set up. I'll have to show y'all later. Um, get y'all up closer once I get it in place. Get the lines marked or the marks lined up. Uh, I've some people. I've got the injectors out, so it makes the engine easy to turn over. It's very hard for me to get down on this crank pulley, and so I'm going to turn it over from the. Um, uh, power steering pump a lot of people say not to do that but like i said i do have the injectors out of it so it is easy to turn off or turn definitely the best way to do it is get on the crank pulley and turn the engine over um, i've got the belt I tightened it up just a little bit to make sure it didn't slip it might still slip but um, we're going to try to turn it from up here just because it makes it a whole lot easier um, i'm working by myself and so to turn the crank pulley i would have to be up under the car and uh, I don't have anybody to look and help me line that up. So uh, we're gonna do it from here and we're gonna turn it uh, clockwise, turn the engine clockwise. But my head might get in the way a little bit, but like I said, y'all aren't gonna be able to see the mark anyway. I'm rocking it back that way just a little bit to get it turned. And we need to turn it over until we get to the mark. And the mark is coming up. say that's that's pretty much uh, we're a little past so I'm gonna go backwards a little bit that's the problem it get close and it doesn't want to never past it I'm gonna say and then it's like Yeah, the problem with doing it with the crank pulley is it, or with the power steering belt, is it gets past it. I'm gonna say that's that's really close. Let's see if I can tell what it is. Clean this off. Read it. Get a rag in here. Man, it's looking good though. Not to say that somebody hasn't put an offset key in it, but. get y'all in here see if I can show y'all from what I can tell I would say that's about two and a half maybe two probably two it's right at two degrees let me I might not be 100% on the line so I'm gonna just see how much that affects it perfect right there and we're about three degrees right there uh, I'm gonna say we're, we're about two and a half 
So I'm gonna say right now we're about two and a half degrees stretch. And let me get y'all down and I'll turn the light on. All right, so first I'll show you the two marks. So you can see them right there. They are lined up. You got a glare light on so you've got that mark right there lines up with there and it is right it is right on where it should be and then underneath I might still get a screwdriver with the pointer it's gonna be hard to get y'all in here hopefully I can see in here all right so if you can see get another hand in here screwdriver point so right right there is the 10 mark see the 10 see the 20 so that line right there before the 10 is five so we are focus I'm focus down there we are right and you can see that zero I don't know if you can tell we got a zero and then the mark is right there see the edge of the screwdriver on the mark for zero that is uh so we are we're just shy we're probably right at two degrees i'm gonna say and because we are not halfway we're not at two and a half we are just shy of halfway between zero and five so i'm going to call that two degrees of stretch which is okay in my book and i am not going to check to see if it's got an offset key it could have one in it but if it does we're still within spec for the stretch including that so with only two degrees of measurable stretch we're going to leave it there i played around you know brought it back brought it back to the mark and it it didn't even make you know just trying to get it just a little bit a little bit uh, closer and uh, it really it may have affected it a quarter of a degree so we're still way within spec at two degrees so that's another thing that kind of leads me to believe that this engine is low mileage or somebody has put a chain on it at some point now what we can also check is look at the I don't know why you all look so washed out uh, let me adjust the brightness maybe yeah let me adjust let's see fly brightness adjustment to help any I can't get you anywhere on see but in there you can't see it but down in there you've got the uh, timing chain and the amount of wear on the uh, pad of the tensioner seems like there's still a good bit of meat on it so it looks like it's still in good shape so i think we're in good shape to run this chain uh, i'll check it next year when i adjust the valves again or in, in 10,000 more miles maybe next year i'll actually do the more in-depth test to it but um with it reading two degrees i'm good with um just a quick test and we'll go from there i'll put a link in the description of the video that kind of shows uh, both ways of testing it 
and uh, you know it definitely provides more detailed instructions than I can provide here but maybe with that guide and you know what I've shown you can do the quick test and uh, if you want to do the in-depth test the uh, the Mercedes spec test then uh, those instructions are really good so thanks for watching leave a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe for more